Do you know how to change materials for architectural elements in ARCHICAD with different surfaces? Can you select different materials for the same object, even for the polygonal walls? In this video, I'm going to explain how we can uh, do this with different materials that we have uh, in ARCHICAD. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, my tutorials. So far, we draw the plan based on the DWG file that we imported in uh, ARCHICAD. Then we draw the windows, doors, we draw stairs and also an elevator. In this tutorial, I would like to take a look at uh, our 3D plan. And as you see, the design doesn't look beautiful very much. So in this tutorial, I'm going to start to change some uh, materials for the objects that uh, we have on the plan. To start this topic, I'm going to select the slab. And then here on the surface, we can uh, turn on the different uh, surfaces of the slab element, which is the top, uh, the sides or the edges and the bottom. Also, if I change the uh, view to this, uh, you would see that the edges of the slab is different from the walls. Also, we should change the edge materials to be unified with the material of the wall. So, first of all, to change the material of the top surface, uh, we should just click on this. So, this menu will be turned on for us. And uh, here on this menu, we will have uh, so many types of uh, materials uh, from the uh, bricks, carpet, glasses, solid paints, metals, stones, and uh, woods, and also some uh, special material for the roofs, also to uh, three different types of pavements, and so many other materials. For this design, I would like to uh, select a wood material, which um, I believe walnut is too dark. Yeah. Yeah, this is too dark, but beautiful. I'm going to select it and uh, change it to uh, maybe oak. Yeah, it seems nice. I like it. And also it matches the stairs. Okay. But now we change all the uh, surfaces for all the spaces that we have, even the bathrooms, even the shared area between these two units. So I'm going to uh, go deep a little bit and I uh, want to change the material for each space. To do this, I'm going to turn back to the plan view. Here I'm going to select the slab. Then I'm going to turn on the trace which if you would like to know how to work with the trays, just click on the card right up here. Then here we have the bathroom and then another bathroom here, also one on the other uh, unit. So I'm going to uh, select one point and then I'm going to subtract uh, these areas from the current uh, slab. I'm going to hold down the space uh, on the keyboard and uh, as you see, we could select different surfaces uh, that we have based on the uh, trace reference that we see. To make it easier for ourselves, it's better to turn off the trace so we would see only the walls. And then if I hold down the space key, we're going to have uh, only the interior uh, surface of the bathrooms. So I'm going to click once here. Another time, I'm going to select the subtract and then I'm going to click once here. Then for this uh, unit, I'm going to do the same. Now we have three uh, open spaces on this slab. And if we take a look in the 3D view, we will see something like this. I'm going to hold down the Alt key to uh, select all the settings uh, for this slab, the thickness, the materials, uh, and all the specifications. So um, 
with one click, I'm gonna copy all the settings. Then here with the with holding down the space and one click, I could create the slab in this area again. So I'm gonna do the same for these two areas. And here we have uh, the three slabs. Then I, I'm gonna uh, turn back to the 3D view. I'm gonna uh, select these uh, three new slabs that we uh, draw. And here on the surface, we could change the surface material to something more bathroomish, which could be, for example, this one. I know it's not very uh, modern and beautiful, but in this way, we can change the materials for um, different spaces that we have maybe change it to another one stone marble which a little bit more um, luxury maybe okay uh, then we could uh, do the same for for example uh, the bedrooms or uh, even here that we have um, a different material for this shared area which um, i believe uh, which should be stone. I'm not gonna do that, but there's possibility. Also, we have a little bit of uh, balconies here that uh, it shouldn't be uh, wood. But uh, for now, I would like to move on to changing the materials for the walls. It seems that all the matter, all the walls have the same material. It is because when we were drawing uh, the walls, we didn't uh, select any materials for the uh, surfaces. So uh, I'm gonna do something uh, a little bit easier. In this view, or even on the plan view, I'm gonna use the marquee tool. I'm gonna draw the area that I want to do some edits. I'm gonna select wall because I just want to select um, all the walls on the plan. Then with control A, all the walls will be selected for me. Uh, then here on the surfaces, I can turn on all the um, materials. Then I will select some default uh, materials like, for example, titanium white. If I uh, click on uh, this, all these materials will be uh, selected at once. So I'm going to turn back to the 3D view and all the materials is uh, changed. Uh, to the same material. But the question is, what if we want to have a specific material for just one bedroom? I'm going to choose, for example, uh, this bedroom. Then here to change uh, the material of the wall. Here we have a reference line, which we draw the uh, wall with this line. So on the surface uh, materials, uh, the exterior wall, the outside surface, is uh, the one that we draw with the reference line. The edge surfaces is the middle one, which we usually don't see. And the inside surface is the one that doesn't have the reference line for drawing the wall. So, for example, I'm going to unlink uh, this material so I could uh, select different materials for interior and uh, exterior. For the interior, I'm going to select another color that suits the bedroom. Um, I like this color in <laughs> ArchiCAD. It's a light um, green. And as you see, only the interior side of the wall has been changed and the other side of the wall is still white. So I'm going to do the same for this wall. In this wall, uh, the situation is uh, the opposite. So I should select uh, this way and change the exterior wall. So this is like that. And I'm going to um, change all the walls to this color. OK, here uh, the wall on the plan is uh, the same for all these uh, three bedrooms, but I just want to change uh, the color for this part. I'm going to turn back to the plan view. I'm going to select uh, this wall. 
And then by uh, selecting the reference line, I can add another node on this wall. So I'm going to select um, the node that matches this uh, distance. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then click here. Now we have two separate walls. Uh, which this one is um, the original one that uh, all these spaces share this wall. And then um, here we have this new wall. So I'm going to turn back to uh, the 3D view. Now I'm going to change the material for this wall. Well, for this wall or uh, even this wall, the situation is almost the same, but a little bit different. Because as you remember, I drew these walls uh, with the uh, polygonal method, which uh, I draw all these uh, points to draw this thick wall. So I should use a trick for changing um, the materials for uh, this type of walls. For this room, I would like to change this surface, this one and this one. And uh, as you see, the reference line for this specific wall is only on this edge and uh, on this one. So I'm going to click on the end point of the reference line. Here we have another option, which is uh, changing the uh, reference edge for the uh, polygonal wall. I'm going to click on this. Then I'm going to draw this uh, side of the wall and it's going to select this edge as a reference line. So now I can change uh, the material of this wall based on these reference uh, lines and uh, I can do the same for uh, what I did for the normal wall. I'm going to select it and then this one. As you see, only these three edges has been changed to uh, the green material. So I should do the same for uh, this one. There you go. We changed the material for the walls of uh, this room, and we can also uh, do the same for uh, each different uh, space that we have. For example, we can change this wall to something that suits the bathrooms. For example, this one, I would like to change it to, for example, this. But on the other side, it is um, white as the same. The last thing that I want to uh, mention is changing the material of the edge on this slab, which uh, I'd rather to have the same material of the walls. So I'm going to select on the edge. And then here I'm going to um, select the titanium white and the exterior surface going to match all together. So this is it for this uh, tutorial. If you have more questions, uh, write down on the comment section. I'm going to read uh, all your questions and I'm going to answer them immediately. Also, if you uh, know uh, another method which is uh, easier than uh, what I uh, explained in this tutorial. Also, you can share it with me and other people that are interested in learning Archicad. And remember that we are all here to learn, practice, and share together. Uh, for the next tutorial, we're going to furnish these two units based on the uh, object uh, tool that we have in the Archicad. And we're going to check out the library that uh, we have for the furnishing the plan. 
Also, if this is the first time that you are watching uh, my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there will be many more tutorials I would like to explain uh, in the ARCHICAD or maybe uh, other architectural apps. So, see you on the next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.